I'm a 24 year old guy, and this happened to me about 6 months ago. I live in a rather large apartment complex, one that is very open and social. People are always outside, waving to each other, having drinks and a barbecue, stuff like that. It's quite a safe place, with people looking out for each other all the time, and if anything happens, everyone is usually in the know. I live at the higher part of the building, very close to the roof. In fact, there's a door near my place next to some stairs leading up to it, so it isn't that hard to get up there. I've personally only been up there once before, and after this, I don't plan on going up there alone. It was about 8 at night, and I was on my computer checking my email, as well as just relaxing and browsing different sites. At that moment, my internet decides to up and shit itself. This is pretty common, as I use my building's Wi-Fi, and it does this at certain points. This would be okay, but I was reading about three important emails, and couldn't check the other two at the time because I hadn't opened any other tabs. I decided to head outside, around to another building at a friend's house, who I know. They're really nice about letting me use their internet when things like this happen. I'm getting up to leave my place and go out into the hallway when I hear a thump up above, on the roof. This doesn't surprise me that much though. I thought it was probably someone up there drinking or hanging out. Sometimes it happens. I get to the bottom of the building and I'm leaving and I hear a loud rattle from the roof. I look up and I don't see anything. I brush it off as a random person on the roof who fell, or something like that. I continue walking. A few minutes later I'm nearing my friend's building, and I hear a nearby bush shake. I'm getting a little weirded out at this point, but I dismiss it as a cat or a lizard moving around in the bush, and just keep walking. I arrive at my friend's place, and sit down on the curb near the entrance. I pull out my phone, unlock it, and go to the email and continue where I left off. A few minutes into reading it, I hear another rattle, like the one in my building, only now it's here. I'm getting an increasingly bad feeling about this, but I keep telling myself it's nothing. About five minutes later, I happen to look up at the roof and get startled for a minute. There's a guy peering down at me, crouching. I figure he's just enjoying the view of the place, and just happened to be looking over at me at the moment. I shine the light from my phone up at him, and I can make out more features. He's wearing tattered pants, a black hoodie, and a mask. One of those white masks you buy at the party store, only on it is drawn a really large smile. This creeped me the fuck out for a moment, but again, I give myself an excuse to brush it off. I laugh nervously at the guy, and just go back to reading. I look up a few minutes later, and the guy is sticking his head over even more. I'm starting to get scared now. This is beginning to feel like a horror story. It was just me and this guy out there, and I really didn't know what the hell he wanted. So I decided to get up and just walk back to my place. I get back with no trouble, and start laughing by the time I get there, thinking about how silly I am. The guy was probably some prankster trying to scare me or something. I'm in a good mood walking to the entrance, and I look up, and immediately feel all my good mood drain away. That same guy is there, only now he's on my roof, in the same creepy manner, staring down at me. I figured he must have run over when I left, and gotten on top of the roof before I got there. I'm just standing there, frozen for a moment and this guy tilts his head, as if he's wondering what's wrong. I quickly head inside, and just try to forget it, going to my place and locking the door. My internet is working now anyway. Later that night, I decide to go to sleep, and I lay in my bed for a little while. Finally, I start getting sleepy and shut my eyes. A little while later I hear tapping on my window near my balcony, so I get up to investigate the noise. I go to the balcony's glass door, pull back the curtain, and immediately scream. The guy, who I'm calling the roof man for obvious reasons, is fucking hanging from my roof and staring at me upside down. 
He tilts his head, and I'm standing there, frozen, wondering where the fuck this psychopath came from. What he does next frightens me even more. He climbs down onto my balcony and knocks on my glass door like he wants in. When I don't comply, he starts banging lightly. This process escalates until he's ramming into the glass full force, cracking it. By this time, I'm scrambling up and unlocking my door to get the fuck out of there. I open the door and go out quickly as I hear the glass shatter. I shut the door and run down the hall and bang on my neighbor's door. I hear my neighbor come to answer and look back at my place down the hall and see my door open and the roof man peek out. At that moment, my neighbor answers and looks at me worried. I point down the hall and he looks. Roofman is standing there, staring us down. He suddenly breaks into a sprint, running at us like crazy. My neighbor pulls me into his place quickly and closes the door. A couple seconds after, we feel loud banging at the door, much louder than my banging earlier. We look out the peephole and see he's relentlessly ramming the door. The door holds up though, and after a while he gives up and runs off. We call the cops, and they search the complex for him, but he wasn't there. I don't know what scares me more, that horrific night, or knowing that he's still out there, and he could come do it to me again, or potentially someone else. My neighbor kindly allowed me to stay at his place for a while, saying he understood, and that if something like that happened again, he'd have my back. I can't thank him enough. So, now, here I sit, sitting at my neighbor's place, relaxing and watching TV. I haven't seen that psychopath since that night six months ago. Thank God. I'm a 24-year-old male now, but this story takes place when I was 14 years old. Growing up, I lived in a neighborhood on the edge of a small desert town in Southern California. Running along the west side of this town is a huge winding canyon with a small river running through it. And as a kid, me and my friends spent a lot of time running and exploring throughout it. Directly across the street from the house I lived in at the time is some type of electrical station. Just to the right of that was an old field. This old field is at the top of the river bottom and then levels of more field over that, like huge curved steps leading down to the bottom. By fields, I mean that they were once used for agricultural purposes, but at this point, they were basically just huge overgrown dirt lots. One night, a group of at least six of us decided to go camp overnight down in the dirt lots and just told our parents that we were staying at a friend's house. We were planning on having a fire, playing some guitar and drinking a couple of beers, like I mentioned before, there are multiple levels here, and the hills in between each level are pretty steep, but there is a dirt road that runs alongside, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. The road starts right next to the entrance gate of the electrical station, which is only a couple hundred feet from the street, and has a bright light illuminating the area around it. Let's just call it entrance light. So we walk down a couple of levels, then set up at the bottom of the second to last hill, not far from the dirt road. We get a fire going, play some music, and start having a pretty good time. We were being pretty loud though, and had a pretty big fire going, so every once in a while, one of us would run up the steep hill behind us to take a look around to make sure that the fire wasn't getting too big. At some point, I walked off to take a leak, and on the way back I decided to make a quick run up the hill to make sure the coast was clear. I take a quick scan around, and see something moving around up by the top of the road, which I can only see because of the entrance light behind whatever it was. I back up and move down the hill a bit, so only my head is peeking over. I try to signal down to the guys, but no one is paying attention. When I look back up, my eyes adjust more, and I see what looks like the silhouette of a man, not walking back and forth, but walking in a circle, a tight circle. My first thought was, 
Maybe they're on the phone. But then I see both arms swinging at their sides. I don't know exactly what time it was, but I remember that it was pretty late. What the hell was this person doing out here in the middle of the night by themselves? Walking in circles. I can hear the guys behind me still laughing and talking. I turn back and see my friend Paul heading up the hill to see what I was doing. I signaled for him to keep low and pointed up at the person. Not long after, all of our heads were lined up peeking over the top of the hill. We were all giggling and whispering to each other, trying to figure out what the hell this person was doing. The longer we watched though, and the more we paid attention, the creepier it got. Something about the way he moved was just… unnatural. We started breaking back into whispered conversation when the person stops, turns, and faces our direction. The moon was out that night, but we were a few hundred feet away and in the dark, so I was sure that they couldn't see or hear us, but it felt like they could, like they were looking right at us. I took a glance back and saw that the fire had died down some, so I know it wasn't that. Then, all of a sudden they start walking, not down the dirt road next to them, but down the rough steep hill in front of them, out of the light, out of sight, directly towards us. We all flipped out and went flailing down the hill. We got to the bottom and started grabbing our stuff and kicking out the fire. The only place to really go and hide was further down in the river bottom, or a large tree a little further down the road surrounded by thick bushes. I grabbed my guitar and started running towards the tree, which was maybe a hundred yards away. Not even halfway there I look over, and about thirty feet away I see a tent floating across the field next to me because someone decided that they were going to bring the whole damn tent with us to hide. It was actually pretty hilarious. You couldn't see their legs or anything. Just this big ass tent still put together, bounding across a damn field. All of us, including the impressively sturdy tent, made it to the tree. Me, thinking that the person would be coming straight down the hill and not down the road, I went and hid on the far side, between some bushes. A minute or two passes, and we quiet down. Then we start to hear very clear, heavy footsteps getting closer, but from the road. Me and my buddy Larry are right next to the road, only a couple of small bushes separating us. We sat there with our pocket knives out, just in case, and the steps continued getting closer. I want to mention that at this point I wasn't exactly shitting myself. It was really creepy, but it was more of just this bizarre thing that was happening, and almost kind of fun. What happened next though, I still can't explain, and this is what still freaks me out about this night. The footsteps were loud, and they were getting really close. They make their way towards the end of the bushes, right next to me of course, and they stop. They were maybe five feet away from us. Larry and I look at each other like, what the fuck? We just sit there, holding our knives, listening and waiting. After a few minutes of silence, I can't stand it anymore. As slowly and quietly as possible, I stand up and peek onto the road, fully expecting to see someone standing there, but I don't see anything. I walk out of the bushes and go onto the road. There was absolutely nothing there. It was so quiet out there that whoever this was could not have gone in any direction or really moved at all without us hearing it. But there I stood, and there was nothing. They just vanished. I called everyone out, and we just stood on the road, confused. We all crashed at my house that night. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you would like a chance to have your story featured in an upcoming video, make sure you email it to yourmaker6260 at gmail.com. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'm thinking the roof jumping person was Corpse Husband stalking people as he does. Mr. Roof Jumper. Stalker.
No, but on a serious note, that is creepy as shit. Fortunately, he hasn't seen the person since, but that's still creepy as shit. I'm kind of wondering if it is a parkour person because they were on the rooftops. Maybe there was a way they could jump from roof to roof, I'm not really sure. They did say that they thought that they climbed down got back up, which would be possible too. Some people are pretty freaking fast. Either way, I hope you enjoyed these mix of stories, and I'll catch you in the next video. And just remember, it's always scarier if it's true.